Well, Kiki got curious about the fireplace. She was sitting in front of it. So we opened it up. Is there a cobwebby in there? <laughs> yeah, we never opened it up to clean it, do we? <laughs> Probably should. <laughs> Do you need help, Kiki? Now Midna's gonna check it out. Oh. Feline centipede? Kiki's looking ready for Halloween here. <laughs> Midna's like, what's all this? She's not even trying to get it off. She's like, yeah, this is my life now. You might need a little cloth here. Oh my god, it's stuck to me. Hey guys, it's Saturday, August 15th. I have a letter that was just in the mailbox. And I believe I know what it is because it says it's from Informa Canada. They're a company that does conventions here in Canada. Woohoo! It's a check for $383.25. This is my table refund for the Calgary Expo. That convention was supposed to be late April. So, just got my refund for that. <laughs> I'll just take a picture with my phone to deposit it. Christian's just showering right now and then we're gonna go get some groceries. I was checking Twitter in the meantime and a couple of you notified me that the diamond paintings I have on Diamond Art Club are up for pre-order right now. So all four designs are available if you wanna claim one. So yeah, they're back, they're back. <laughs> Is this fascinating to you, little moosh? You could hear some wind whistling through the top. I think that's what's attracting them to it right now. We'll just leave it open for now. Yeah, were you a little cobweb baby there, Kiki? Looks like the cables are coming out of her tail. <laughs> Groceries acquired. We have a lot here. <laughs> Got not only food stuff, but things like razors to shave, <laughs> some toilet brushes, Advil, bathroom cleaner. We ended up getting this whole thing for free. Recently we got a bunch of condiments as a, the free gift. This time it's a bunch of soaps and things. Some toothbrushes, that'd be handy for when we have guests over or something. Because sometimes people unexpectedly spend the night if we have friends over for drinks or something. Little deodorants, toothpastes, body wash. Cool. Uh, miss? Little tail poking out. Midna, mm -hmm. I have a delivery for you. Kiki's delivery service. We got this and some spinach dip. <laughs> I'll wrap up this. It is hot. I'm probably not gonna stay in this room very long or I'll just flick on the AC or something and not talk real time. But I just thought I would explore some outfits for the cat paintings I wanna do. And I, you know, I was looking at that wood I have and I thought I like that size. Thinking about it more, I might paint them bigger just because once art's on the wall, it looks so much smaller. So I might go with canvas that's the same size as the white ones I have, but those ones are really thin canvas and I want something thicker. So yeah, I'm just being very picky with this, but. <laughs> I will go with the bigger size, but just not the ones I have right now. So this is the costume history, and I thought I would look through here for some inspiration, although I might still want an actual photo or like, I guess a painting, I should say. <laughs> an existing painting to use as direct reference, or am I just gonna make it up? Like, I feel like it'd be more exciting if I completely make up the outfit, but have it based off of are based off of outfits that actually existed, but not just straight up copying a photo, maybe? I don't know. Vivi? 
No, I'm not trying you, sorry. I would like something with a frilly collar, potentially. Well, there's going to be two I have to make, so I can decide on two different outfits. And both my brother's cats are girls. Oh, here's something frilly. <laughs> I almost wish this book was bigger. It's so tiny. Oh, I like that. Oh my god, there's a spider suspended right there. Um, it's like three feet above my head, but a little bit forward. Boy, what you doing? Oh, get the boogie. Look. Look. Mina. Mina. Why is that such a long, skinny body? I think you will let me hold her. Look, Kiki. Oh, don't scratch me, dude. Hey, buggy. Oh, you see him? <laughs> Where'd he go? Oh, he's on the floor. Oh, he's down here. Look. Oh, he ran away. Oh, I think he got away, Kiki. Oh. <laughs> well, good luck with that. When my hair's not curled, the brown does not look very blended at all, does it? <laughs> See, high necklines make it convenient for adding a cat head on it because then they don't need much of a neck or anything. <laughs> I mean, I guess it could still work. Just give you cat neck leading into the dress. I'm going to grab this other book I have. I have quite a few. <laughs> How to read a dress. Hmm. I, I like this style. It's cute, but I kind of like the idea of the big fluffy necks because it feels so much more like royalty. Whoa, <laughs> maybe not quite like that one. <laughs> okay, I've gone through more of the books and stuff and I want to show you my findings. So in the costume history, I really like this look here. I just love the style of this. I'll probably do different colors though, although I might add a neck piece. The other style I like is this one. So those are the main styles I'm going with. I've also highlighted this one because of the hair piece. I just feel like having some kind of headpiece will make it a little more interesting instead of just the cat head slapped on top. Like, I want a little more to it. And then in this one, I actually have a painting bookmarked because I like the look of it and the colors. So I might do one with colors like that. I also like the way the texture of the fabric is drawn. I don't know if I'll do mine like that, but I just thought that would be some good reference to look at while I'm working on it. And then in this book, I have tagged this. Again, it's a painting. Again, for kind of color reference and just the overall look of it, I want it to feel a little bit like this. This one's also really nice because there are a lot of real dresses in here so you can actually see the fabrics and what they look like and what kind of sheen they have and you know it, it's good real photos <laughs> compared to this one where it's all drawings. I also bookmarked this one. This page is about fans but what I like about this picture is actually the dress. I like the lace and I like all the beading on the bodice. It's just very cute so I'm going to keep all this in mind when working. On the paintings. So I got started sketching it in Procreate because the plan is to print it out and then put the paper behind the canvas and use a light box to transfer it to the canvas. That way I could also use my projector but it's a little bit more work so I only use that if I'm transferring to something you can't use a light box with like wood. I mostly drew the one cat for this so I'm not finished the sketching but I did mostly crinkle which is the kitty on the left and the face needs some work, but I guess also it's, this is just a sketch, it'll look different once I actually paint it, but I'm gonna move the features around a little bit. Crinkle is not full grown, and so I'm a little bit torn about how to do this. Like, do I give her that kitten look, or do I, like she's got kind of that scrawny teenager kitten stage, so I don't know if I should draw her more of like an adult cat. I think I might go for that, just so it's 
longer lasting, but at the same time, I don't really know exactly what she's going to look like. <laughs> so yeah, there's still some tweaking to do. Plus I have to finish the other cat whose name is Kitty, but that's as far as I've gotten so far for this artwork and I'll just continue working on it. I'm also working on advent calendar stuff. So I'll be flip-flopping between the two projects. This lighting makes it feel like it's nighttime or something. Cut up the baguette. I brought my drawing stuff downstairs, but now I just want to play Fall Guys. <laughs> yes, Moose. What? I was productive for a Saturday. I replied to emails, did a little bit of outfit research. What? Laundry, got groceries. There. Look at that. That's for the spinach. I'm probably having too much bread today. It'd be nice to put this in a cuter container, but it's just so handy being able to put the lid back on. I suppose whatever it doesn't get eaten, he gets scooped back into here. <laughs> oh, we do have little glass containers that have lids. Hmm. You know what? No, we're fine. We're fine. <laughs> I don't need to get that fancy with it. I could peel the label off. Or can I? Oh, oh I just lifted up my gel polish. I mean, it wasn't doing so well to begin with, but. Maybe I should put the lid back on while I do this before I make a big mess. When you're waiting for the oven to preheat and so you're just doing like random stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Let's remove labels. spotlight. Here's what you want. Some attention. It's way too early for your treats. It's way too early for your treats. Yes, yes it is. Do you want rug pets? Yes, maybe. Should I cut these all in half? My arms are starting to get bad again. They were really bad yesterday. And then the day before yesterday, they hurt later in the day. Yesterday was so, so, so bad though, but that's because I was playing Fall Guys during my live stream. So I was playing it for so long. I even went over time by a couple hours for my stream and my arms were killing me so bad. After that, I had supper. I was on my phone for a bit and I just face planted in bed and just laid there so I could have my arms just flopping, not doing anything. Normally I just get occasional flare-ups of that when I do heavy lifting and stuff, but it's been constant for the last month and right now it's at its worst it's been yet. But it's really hard to rest your arms when you need them to do everything. <laughs> and it's really hard to rest your arms when you're addicted to Fall Guys. I eventually got up last night and got some ice packs to put on my elbows and then went back to bed. So when I woke up, they were feeling better. They still hurt, but they were a lot better. But now it's getting worse again, especially with carrying those groceries. I did order some tennis elbow braces this morning and they should be delivered today. So waiting on those. I just had a moment where I was looking at the oven. I'm like, how is it not preheated yet? And I look at it and said, it's not preheating anymore. And I'm like, oh, it's ready. Okay, uh, where's the pizza? <laughs> looking for it. It's in the oven. It's in. This pizza cutter is not very sharp. <laughs> so the braces arrived and they make a huge difference. 
This one I'm wearing a little bit lower on my arm. You're supposed to wear it four inches from where it hurts the most. So this one's a little lower than where this one's at. What is my necklace doing? I don't know. Um, yeah, but does it does it go with the outfit? <laughs> I feel like I'm wearing two Fitbits or something. I had to test them out by playing some Fall Guys and it was great, it was great. I even won a match. I got my second win. So at the same time my braces were delivered, this was also delivered. This I got off of a Facebook ad. I really need to stop buying stuff from there and like research more because <laughs> every time I do that, I end up with something that is not even branded to the name of the website I ordered off of. And so I could probably get this exact same thing on Wish for half the price, but whatever. It was from a brand called Galaxy Cove and it's a little projector. I thought this would be a fun way to add interesting lighting to my art room during streams. Although if it's daylight out, I don't know how well it's gonna be visible. Probably not very, but I don't know. It could be fun for parties too, but it's supposed to project a galaxy on the wall. Charge it before the first use. Oh, 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 whoa, I just somehow just turned it on. How did I do that? Stop, oh. <gasps> Okay, and there's the wait, it looks like there's different modes. Okay, this toggle stars on and off. This is for what color you want. Is there really just red, blue, green? What the frick? It showed purple in the pictures. There is purple, but only when it's alternating and yellow. Oh my god. And it alternates so fast. Or was there a slow alternate setting? Let's turn some lights off. Oh my God. Oh, that is cool. I really wish I could do that pinky purpley color. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. That is so cool. Okay, wait, where's the, now I'm so dark I can't see the buttons. Red's kind of creepy with the green stars. Red's just creepy in general. It's ominous. Green. Alternate. See, this would be cool if it maybe held a color for like 10 seconds. Look how cool the purple is. Even this light blue. Love the light blue. But for some reason, some colors are only in flashing mode. <laughs> I need to set it somewhere where it shines at the back of the room so that's what you would see. You can have it just stars too without the other stuff going on. Okay, okay. <gasps> oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> I wonder if you could just put a, a little piece of film over it, a piece of colored film to change the color. Like if I put red film over the blue one, it would be a purpley color. Hmm. <laughs> so cool. Let's do the catch in calendar for Friday. I always hump him. He could at least buy me dinner. <laughs> and for the weekend, my name is Hits. My mama gets the outside kitty some wet food, and I must cry until I get some too, but will only take two bites out of it, then I will never touch it again. <laughs> wow. Well, Keek, who hath been asleep for hours and hours, is now awake and demanding attention. Excuse me? Ma'am? Ma'am, excuse, excuse me. It was Christian's parents' 40th anniversary, and so we surprised them by showing up. They had no clue we were coming. Oh, <laughs> 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 